Hello, this is a video demonstrating the downloading and installation of a simple terminal emulation program called PuTTY. Now, PuTTY has the acronym TTY in it, which is based upon an old Unix console system. Um, you need a console emulator or a dumb terminal emulation program to connect with Cisco switches and routers. The TTY subsystem is central to the design of any Unix or Linux-based operating system. And unfortunately, it's glossed over and not really looked at too carefully. And it's actually difficult to find good basic introductory information on it sometimes. And uh, it is important for the advanced user to understand what TTY is as a subsystem in Unix-based operating systems. It's not a particularly elegant solution, but it is well evolved. It, it's highly functional and reasonably secure. But we use it to connect to hardware over a network now. So what is a console program like PuTTY? Well, PuTTY is a secured shell telnet client, it is called. The protocol is referred to as SSH. And yes, if you're getting into IT as a beginner, you're going to discover that there are many, many acronyms. So, what is Secure Shell Transfer Protocol? Secure Shell uh, File Transfer Protocol is a network protocol that provides file access, file transfer, and file management functionalities over any reliable data stream. It, it was designed by the Internet Engineering Task Force as an extension of the Secure Shell Protocol, version 2 to provide secure file transfer capability, but it's also intended to be usable with other protocols. The Internet Engineering Task Force, or IETF, uh, states that even though this protocol is described in the context of the Secure Shell 2 protocol, it can be used in a number of different applications, such as secure file transfer over the transport layer security, TLS, and transfer of management information in virtual private network applications. The protocol makes the fundamental assumption that it is already being run over a secure channel, such as secured shell, and that the server has already authenticated the client, and that the identity of the client user is available to the protocol. Like I said, there are many, many acronyms you can run into and you, you might feel inundated when you're new. There's a related protocol called SCP, which is Secure Copy. We need not be highly concerned with all of these at this point. Basically, all we want to do is what everybody does. Just download the program and configure it and use it to connect to a Unix-based client. So, you go to a search engine and you download PuTTY. You search for a site preferably putty.org. And as you see, they've got a couple of other clients that you can use that are more advanced. But let's just download putty. And you want it to be a Windows-based version of the program. So you save the file. After downloading it, after obtaining the PuTTY program, you go to the folder where it's downloaded to. And copy it to your desktop. Now with PuTTY, you do not need to install it. You just simply double-click it and run the program. It runs as is with no installation upon Windows. And you configure the program to connect to your router or switch. And these are the parameters that you use in a traditional router or switch. Now, as you see here, the settings for connecting to a 
switcher router are you're connecting over a port known as COM1 hardware wise and the speed that it communicates at is 9600 um, bits per second. Now these are traditional old school connection ways. It's called consoling in to the switch or router and you use it with a console cable which is a special cable to connect to the hardware from your laptop. That's when you're in direct uh, physical presence to a router switch. As you see there are other ways of connecting to various pieces of hardware with this program. It's a terminal emulation program and it simulates the old dumb terminals of the old days. That doesn't mean it is old, it is currently used. Later on we'll get into specific details of configuring your console and uh, just for GP this is known as consoling in to a router switch.